world, I would tell myself that love is an action. I would say, mm -hmm. MJ, love is an action. Don't listen to their right. words. Pay attention to their actions, and that will tell you everything that you mm -hmm. need. Of emotional in intimacy and boundary. Yeah. So as long as you could distinguish the, the bo both, I'm like cool with it. Because, you know, it, we're in the flesh. Shit, fuck Damn. that. I, I can't do that. Love. But I'm then a, also, I'm, I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm a, practicing. No, no. Mine is mine. <laughs> no, same that thing. That part. That Period. part. <laughs> See, look, I get, I get non-attachment. And I think that there's other ways that you can practice non-attachment yes, 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 as well, yes. right? Most definitely. Like, um, for me, it's like, you know, what's mine will will be mine. You right. know, like I, if if we're in a monogamous, a monogamous relationship and you cheat on me, that's not for me because I'm not about that life. But I accept that non-attachment that, you know, you weren't for me. You decided to go elsewhere and fulfill your desires. <laughs> She's a peace mother. Fair. And with I, my last partner, I had asked her, I was like, what do you think about polyamory? She's like, I don't think about polyamory. And I was oh, like, man. oh, but like, you know, if it was like something you know in your new relationship and i just asked open-ended i didn't say me or anything i was just like what do you think about it and she was like not with it <laughs> you know what so that's your answer that was my answer basically yeah, yeah. so that's you have perfect. to decide whether or not i, I also was trying to figure out when do i when do i when do i bring the subject up like right when we meet once we start talking a little bit exactly how you just did yeah yeah it was once to start talking just because it came you naturally decided that you definitely want that life style for yourself that relationship style then you have your answer 100 she's not gonna mm -hmm. there it's but if you're like yeah. i don't i'm just gonna tr i'd like to try right, right, right. it I was an and i really like her but I was in a relationship with somebody and you have to go off and spend time with somebody else is it because the partner that you have is lacking in that area what is it mm. that's driving you to say you know what i really love you and i love the relationship we have together I really want to fuck this. Yeah. It's lifestyle. It's, That's, it's, it's preference. It's their life. Yeah. Even with it's lifestyle, there's something. Variation. There you go. Is, am I, but is it, am I lacking excitement in my relationship? Or this is the excitement that I, you know, this is what gives me excitement. Right. And so I want to go out and do this. Some people use it as so, an excitement. They do. Mm -hmm. And if, you're, if do. your partner's accepting of that and understanding of that from the beginning, yeah. then it really it's ethical. Isn't it is what it is. It's ethical. I mean, yeah. I think it, being exploring is healthy regardless. Like in whatever fashion, please let your freak flag fly. My uh, my current partner actually came to me from a polyamorous relationship. Mm. Ironically, oh, wow. uh, yeah, she was the third with um, another couple, uh, a wife and a husband that had recently transitioned, and um, it was it was she was divorced and wanted to explore and try new things and didn't really didn't think that she was going to be able to be in a monogamous relationship again until she met me of course <laughs> but and she's um, like mine literally <laughs> literally <laughs> but i mean everybody needs a chance to figure out who they are right so whether totally. it, just because you you're you want to play around in polyamory doesn't mean you have to necessarily stay there it's not part of your of who you are right you can close that you know. down and be like hey baby mm -hmm. i just want it to be just us the, yeah. the like thing is a, that's, that's how i'm feeling like a per partner basis yeah. right per par yeah yeah right. because growing up i was always like the world is my oyster like i, I need to try I it want. all right just like, like, a sad, like there's a buffet sad moon <laughs> yeah just, that's, that's but i feel like i'll find my person and like they'll fulfill all that thing is different with lesbians oh yeah well that's your guys's yeah it's different or no well, it, it it's just they're gonna do it until they happens. Yeah, it's it's. But I do think that that's like a major difference between like um, typical like heterosexual relationships and lesbian relationships is like the expectation is different, right? So like when you're dating a woman, a woman, you come into it knowing, I know how I like to be touched. I know what I need. I know that this is gonna take longer than me being here for five minutes for it to happen. I, I listen to cues, micro changes, like what it you really know your Body partner yeah. so you, there is no lesbian quickie oh my god they have sex they've been married for 20 years i'm like no wonder you guys are always having sex because she's <laughs> always orgasming must be nice, must be nice. After i, I want to get the o shot i want to try that because i think that that's as closest to um where they put filler in your oh, yeah, yeah, little and then that's interesting so the, yeah i'm so scared of needles i don't know if i can do it <laughs> megan fox did that um mj's getting ready to are, do that are you sure after your last experience you want somebody doing it like what if it like shot? numbs it <laughs> I um, if so it freezes scared. it 
<laughs> what if you're just like constant? Oh face? god, that's right. Like yeah. Are you guys think those cases of people who have orgasms all day? Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, that's funny because there's this thing about um, going to the gym and orgasming. Women yeah, can have orgasms at the gym, and who does? Like, women can women have do. orgasms. Oh, yeah. And really? yeah, and so I was working out the other day and I was sitting there and I'm like looking around, I'm like, who's orgasming? I'm like, in moments like that, I wish I was a woman to have the motivation to go more to the gym. Um, yeah. But I'm sitting there going, what who's? would it feel like to have an orgasm right there? That, that's me, your lighthearted host and expressionist. And this, this is my podcast. Love and Lies.